Hey there everyone, I'm Valkyfanoid, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny! Last time we went full circle and we got back to Fendaria, which is also where we technically started the game. But not only that, we found Gar once again, and of course he joined our party. Yay Gar! Even though he's still just level 8, yay Gar! <laughs> And today, we are gonna go over the Deadly Frozen River. Which one of the NPCs in this town said that if you get lost, you will freeze to death. Sounds like a awesome place to be. Sounds like a blast indeed. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really nothing more else to say, so let's just go. I know I could have done some off-screen training with Gar just to get his levels up, but I thought, nah, he's gonna get enough levels as it is with just having him in the party, I suppose. And for those who wonder, no, there is no uh, nighttime uh, training scenes with Gar just like Chester had, sadly. I would like that, but no such luck. Anyway, this is where I want to go, this very obvious little black dot on a white mountain. It's supposed to be a cave, but it looks like something else. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Don't really know why I stalled this much. Th this is, of course, the frozen river. Though it doesn't really look like a river, it looks like another forest. But we should have some new enemies here. We have some combat bunny and Yetis! Oh my god, Yetis! Yeah, all the enemies in this place, weak to fire. So stand in dim lows. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I could once, of course, you could once again just spam spells, but you know me, I prefer the physical violence instead of the, well, magical one. <laughs> and surprise, surprise, Gar gained the level. Yeah, surprise, I know, who would have guessed? <laughs> anyway, we want to go up. Here, I believe. There we go. Yeah, okay, fine. Should get a battle anyway. Oh god, those diamond dusts. Kill those things as fast as possible. They will spam Ice Tornado on you, and it's gonna hurt. Especially if they do it on Gar. It sucks. It sucks so much. I could have d done a joke about, oh, it looks like she must be in here, <laughs> since she was attacking. Final Fantasy is Diamond Dust, but no, there's no laughing matter about those freaking Diamond Dusts. I can't even begin to think how many times those freaking light bulb things killed me. I hate those Diamond Dusts. <laughs> anyway, walk up to this block of ice. A huge chunk of ice is on, is on our way. Stan, use this ring. What's that? It's called the Sorcerer's Ring, and, it's fire and it fires a beam of light by using lens energy. Then, yes, it will be easier to melt this ice with it. But be careful, if you run out of lens, you can't fire the beam. Okay, thanks, let's give it a try. And of course, we get the Sorcerer's Ring. They didn't really tell us, but if you check in your items, there it is, the Sorcerer's Ring. Press the square button to shoot. And it uses lens power, so for every shot you take, you will use one lens. But really, one lens is nothing special. But yeah, you need, but of course, you need to equip it on a party member. So I recommend you give it to a party member that is not currently in your party. So, yay, I got a. I gave Mary a ring too. I think I've given a ring to all my party members now. And okay, got the fur cape. I just have to be sure. <laughs> okay, so let's try this out. Right now I have 155 lens. Shoot the source of the ring. Okay, we can go through now. And I am down to 154. So, yeah. So, it doesn't really look like you can do much here, but you can actually climb the mountain. Yeah, it's not really mountain climbing, it's just mountain walking, apparently. <laughs> Anyway, so... Wouldn't it be... And shock of all shocks, Gar gained another level. <laughs> now, as I was trying to say, wouldn't it be nice if you had, in this game, some sort of... 
I don't know, auto-leveling system of some sort. You know, just push a button and your character is starting to run in circles and just meeting up with enemies and they auto-fight them. Wouldn't that be nice? Just leaving the game on overnight and you wake up and you will gain at least 20 levels or something. That would be freaking amazing, especially now that Gar is with us and he's just level 10. I mean, I... 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 I, I was just kidding. I... I wouldn't know if it's in the Tales game. I... I would never use it. Ever. I mean... EVER! It... It would never work nicely at all. No, not at all. <laughs> oh, thank God. You didn't see that. You didn't see that at all. Just... Just forget that I said anything, and let's just go over to this treasure chest. Of course, you slide on the ice and all. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Anyway, in this treasure chest, we have a question mark disc. Of course. No? Ah, I've been playing so much... Well, other Tales games now, that's not the uh, Japanese one, so... I'm used to the X button being accept again, but... Yeah. But I will say, though, when I play that game, I want to press the circle button for accept, but it doesn't really work too well. <laughs> Anyway, let's find those rune bottles. They've, oh god, I only got one left. So I'm out of rune bottles, and I'm also out of holy bottles. This is not good. Anyway, use it on the question mark disc to get the SW100-100. Which I want to give to Stan. Uh, let's see. He will lose a little bit of thrust attack. But he will also gain all of its slash. Well, I do like it balanced, so I'm gonna give this one to Stan. And let's see, I think Leon should get this one. Let's see, it's this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And maybe Rudy can get the old one? The blessing disc is good, but. Yeah, okay, it's it's fine, it's fine. We sliding on the ice. Anyway, this dungeon is actually very short. It's not really much to do, except just go from point A to point B. There's barely any items in there too, actually. And when you enemies here... Goddamn di diamond dust, no! We also have these. S giants, I suppose it's snow giant. Oh crap, no. Right in Gar's face. That's gonna hurt. Kill! No! Oh, this is gonna hurt. Gar, get out of there! Oh, he didn't get hit! Ow! Ow! Stop that! No! <laughs> and they, of course, hide behind the giant. Of course. Oh god. I just heard a... Rah! Sound that I thought it was uh, Gar who died. <laughs> oh, thank god. Though, uh, yeah, those giants, though... Oh, Ray! Cool! That was sweet looking! But yeah, those giants, they are a little bit annoying because they will, of course, they will block you and they will punch you and you fly to the end of the screen and Gar gets a new skill. Damn, that's cool. <laughs> Sweet. And there's the male lady. Okay, I don't need to be scared about that anymore that she just interrupt me. Anyway, Gar's new skill is Windblade. No, not the spell. A projectile attack created by air pressure from a sword thrust. Wait, a sword thrust? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, of course, Gar can equip swords to not just uh, bows and lances. Well, that's. <laughs> I think that pretty much says itself, though, uh, since that he that he is actually a Saurian master. But uh, yeah, we don't have a Saurian yet, sadly. It's a very cool Saurian, though. I will say that. Anyway, so we have more. Battles. God damn it! <laughs> I was gonna say more sliding on ice, but no. Anyway, as I was trying to say, this pond you need to be a you want to be a little bit careful on because there is actually some treasure chests to get on this one. So you want to stand around here so you hit this tree. Oh, that was a nice little effect. I actually didn't remember that. <laughs> ah, those little things, man. Those little things. And you want to go down. And you will get to this treasure chest, which got a light in it. Okay, it's the light disc, which I want to give to Rudy. Let's see, yeah, pretty damn good. We'll lose a little bit defense though, but really not that bad. I want to give it to Rudy, and what spell does it give? It gives the Ray spell, the spell that Philia just used. 
and it's a very powerful spell. If you remember in Fantasia, yeah, it's very, very good. <laughs> anyway, you see there's another little treasure chest over there, so let's try getting it. But on the way there, you see there's another treasure chest right here. It's got a mutual sword in it. Okay, not bad, but not good either. And now let's go and get that other treasure chest. I love that little effect. It's actually very sweet. <laughs> now, you have the exit right here, but you don't want to use it quite yet. Well, of course, that depends if you want the treasure chest or not. <laughs> like so, and there we go. And we get a rune bottle. Well, isn't that convenient? <laughs> so now we want to go to the exit, of course. And with that, we are back at the world map. Yeah, as I said, a very short dungeon, but I think it's a pretty fun one. Usually, since I like ice dungeons and the ice physics puzzles are pretty fun at some times. But uh, right here, we actually have our next destination. I would say, if it wasn't for a fact that if you go south, you have a battle. No, there is another town down here, actually. Wait a minute. These are the beginning enemies. Oh, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. <laughs> the frost bunnies and the pollo birds. Poor things. The only thing they are useful for is giving me lens for my sorcerer's freak. <laughs> anyway, let's see if I can find this. Uh, let's see on my map. There we go. We have a town right here, which is where I want to go next time. So, I thank you all for watching. And I see you all then. Now this is probably a good place to auto level. Ah! <laughs>